Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Command Combat Battle Reports. Today we have Denmark versus, wait for it, the Mongols. So those of you who have watched Crash, Crash Course uh, here on YouTube will know that reference. The rest of you will be wondering what the heck am I talking about. Uh, it's a really good show. You might want to take a look at it. Look up Crash Course on YouTube. Of course, after you've watched all of ours. Uh, it's by the Vlog Brothers. Anyway, all right. So what have we got over here? We got Denmark moving into these trees here. Well, what are they? Uh, some hand gunners moving onto the, the, the trees in the on the hill. It's a very foggy day here on the mists of, uh, probably, we'll say it's Denmark. Um, yeah, it sounds like it. And probably Hamlet's in here whining somewhere. All right, we got a bunch of hand gunners. So it looks like the uh, Denmark guys are creating a, yeah, they have Norse axemen down here in the valley. So it looks like they're kind of creating a line up on the hill to fire down on them and a uh, line of the um, uh, and and people down here while they have the cavalry behind. They've got some Norse archers. Oh, so a line of of hand gunners and uh, archers, along with cannoneers, along here to take o uh, over or to take on whatever comes with them. Fuel knights, along with scouts in the background. I guess the scouts already did their job. Out here, I guess I wouldn't really be you know wanting to send anybody out after these Mongols anyway. The Mongols are kind of known for being pretty nasty. Right now they've sent up some archers to skirmish with the uh, Denmark guys. They also have some uh, heavy archers. I think they're mostly cavalry group here. Light lancers, dismounted, oh wait, dismounted heavy lancers. This is what these guys look like coming up this way. Uh, over on this side, heavy lancers, heavy lancers. And, oh, some uh, rocket launcher artillery back here. Firing through the fog. I didn't think they could even see anything going off the mountain. Let's see them fire this stuff here. Come on, guys, we haven't got all day. There might be a charge here soon. Uh, maybe they can't see through the fog. Well, he's lighting and stuff. There we go. that's happening up here. Looks like they're hitting the... Oh! They hit that guy. Mostly not a lot of effect, but then again, tell that guy who's lying there dead on the ground. A couple of guys, actually. So it did a little bit of effect. Meanwhile, the gunners seem to be waiting for a target to come up, and they're just kind of getting hit by the bows. So maybe the gunners at this age were not quite as... Uh, they just didn't have the range, I, I suppose. Again, I know the Civil War better than I know this era, so... I'll be a little bit ignorant. Looks like the Norse Axemen maybe moved up a little bit. They've got pushed back maybe. And what's this charge happening over here? Tsar's Heavy Cavalry. Taking on Mongol Light Lancers. These light uh, cavalry attacks oftentimes happen on the flanks to sort of see who's going to have the upper hand on the flanks. Oh, and a big charge seems to have happened right there, it's more close to the center, where the uh, Mongols have come out of the fog. The, wait for it, Mongols. Oh, and it looks like they're charging up that hill there. Dismounted heavy lancers versus the hand gunners. I have my money on the dismounted heavy lancers, along with their supporting cavalry. So it looks like they just kind of ran up to them in all the places up on the hill and down on the uh, uh, down on the ground in the. Uh, The Mongols have definitely got the upper hand here. They may have already almost taken out all of the axemen. Oh, 
Oh, and there goes the uh, Denmark Cavalry. They seem to have gotten beaten by the uh, Mongol Heavy Cavalry, which makes sense. The Mongol Cavalry was some of the best in the world. And what's over happening over here on this flank battle? Looks like it just got stalled, and either side won the upper hand on the uh, flank on the flank fight. So neither one got to have the flank, but it doesn't look like the Mongols needed it because it just rushed up here through the fog. Those guys who were counting on uh, using their ranged weaponry, including these cannons, just got uh, hit by the fog. Oh, but they still have some Gotland foot footmen. And I guess I shouldn't discount that uh, the, uh, the bows coming from the back, but here comes that uh, Mongol cavalry once again. Killing men as they retreat and then coming back around. Ready to hit. Oh, Cap, the Captain uh, Burislav is in here somewhere. So the King's Guard comes down to the King's Guard and the uh, Mongol cavalry. Lord be merciful. From fire to flame, just... our general lies slain upon the battlefield. Ah, uh, now the Denmark uh, king is. I guess they got Hamlet. So this thing isn't much going to be much longer here. I don't think. We got the footmen now being charged by the cavalry. And here comes those rockets. Are still doing damage to people. Mm -hmm. See, it seems like the Mongols are sort of attacking, and then when they don't get the upper hand, they're kind of disengaging with their cavalry Our and then bringing in fresh to be cavalry. Gaining the upper hand in this battle. Yeah, you think? Move out. Uh, they, the, the announcer was just saying that the uh, Mongols seem to be getting the upper hand, which, yeah, I, I'd say they were getting the upper hand a little while ago there. There goes the Norse archers. They were probably the last sort of stand because it seems that yeah, the Mongols just pretty much just uh, went right up the front, tried to do a bit of a flank thing. Nothing was really happening, so they just went right up to the front. The the, uh, the um, Denmark guys were expecting to be able to hold off their line with the uh, with the guns and with the uh, artillery there, but just weren't able to do it. And the uh, oh shame. Day. Our army is running from the field. We must rally our men before all is lost. The Mongols were able to just uh, go right through the center and push right through them, uh, supported by the uh, uh, by the rocket artillery, which actually surprised me. It did so well. Uh, that was about it. So the victors are. Wait for it. Dun -dun -dun, the Mongols. Bum -bum 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 all right. Uh, now you can see Crash Course. All right, well, thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, please uh, be sure to subscribe to us and also watch us on commandcombatreports.com and uh, put comments in, uh, below as to what you'd like to see. Thanks for watching and happy gaming, everybody.